What game are we playing today, streamer man? Oh, well, funny you asked. We're playing my first ever favorite furry bait game, Sly Cooper. It's not really furry bait. Actually, yeah, it is. It's furry bait. <laughs> it's, it's furry bait. <laughs> We're going to be playing through Sly Cooper. This is a game that is near and dear to my heart, and I kind of got inspired to play it because I was thinking, wait a minute, how far back do furry bait video games go? When I mean furry bait, I mean like there are characters that have anthropomorphic animals in it that are very, very much in line with what furry is about. And Sly Cooper is kind of that. But either way, I'm digressing and talking way too much. Let's play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. My absolute childhood. The animation's so good. I'm not talking over this. This is great. It's so nostalgic. I love this. I love, I love this game. Chef's Kiss. This is 2002 as well. So I want to start a new game. Sly, come in. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Trying to okay, humor's pretty good. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your Oh, yeah, you guys are going to get to see Carmelita. This is going to be great. To get inside, you're going to have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel slide. Wait, hold on. It's Murray. Oh, my God, I love Murray. Back to the van. We'll do the rest. I... Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Look... I'm just saying, Murray, you are going to love him. Oh, this game plays very well, too. It's so responsive. Wait, hold on. I just want to look around. Like, this game, like, damn, for the PlayStation 2, like, graphics look pretty good still. Oh, anyways. Good game. I'm going to enjoy it. Let's get a move on with this. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Or ghosts. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. <laughs> hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on. <laughs> Imagine this, if this applied IRL, and someone was like, Oh, I couldn't help it. I saw a, a mysterious blue aura near this Bank of America. <laughs> I, I kind of like that. You know, they did their best to describe the, the blue aura thing, which is just, you know, you do an action near it, which it's... Wait a minute. Did I just recognize that they have the little sneaking sound when you do this? Listen to it. Bum, 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 bum. I didn't recognize that, and I played this game for so long. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. That... Are you sure? Are you sure? It's a door. It's a it's a door. It's not re smack. Oh no, it opened. <laughs> I don't know. Plot's sake. See, like it's just, it's just a door. This is wall. It's a wall. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked oh my into God, the back in the day, but, wait, what? and discovered this vault's combo. Wait, try dialing in nine three. That's seven. that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works. If they have, you know, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna argue with the genius. He's got he's got nice glasses too. Look at him. Look at those glasses. Those are some nice glasses. He's also got the bow tie. He's got the nerd aesthetic. I love him. I love all these characters. This is like one of those games that I can just enjoy forever. I know it's a children's game and I know I'm complaining about it. Let me complain. Also, keep in mind, this game is very loud at times. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking 
parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. Perfect. Thank you, Murray. Murray's great. I love him. Sim. You're gonna love him come slide two and slide three. I promise. I promise. Oh, Hitachi wand. <laughs> The cane is a dual purpose. Massaging tense muscles and thieving things. <laughs> Why not both at the same time? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Here we go. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Uh -huh. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know... That bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. Bazooka? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. That ain't no pistol. That's a hand cannon. You out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous. Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case Wait. file. I think you've had it long enough. Why is her model so much bigger than us? Holy shit! <laughs> I mean, maybe Sly had a point with the bazooka, you know? The shots in that thing. Also, she can schmoove. Oh well. You can't escape me, raccoon. <laughs> I love this game. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmel. Oh god, this is so loud. Snap. Yeah, cutscenes are loud. To see how well she took it. Oh. Oh. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. Are you sure this game is E for this, everyone? I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. Also, backstory, I gotta shut up. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no ah. honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You sure? You off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. What about, like, billionaires? Well, what about, like, an oil sheet? The book, I think that's pretty fun. Unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... The Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. Shut up, Dr. Phil. You're they ruining this the moment. into five pieces and split it up. Each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Why'd they take it? Broken alone. Why'd they take the book? I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme. And Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. I love it. Burden! He's amazing! I love it. Shut up, Sly. Back the Thievius Raccoonus. Murray's fine. I, knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. See what I mean with Sly having a bit of an ego here? I mean, granted, family name, you know, yeah, but yeah. Also, why'd he call Murray a burden? Murray's amazing. He's adorable in this game, and he is like, he is absolutely needed in future games. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Movies. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. <laughs> I've already plotted a route to our first target. Oh, this one. Wait, excuse me? Thank you, Bentley. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on this Sir music, Robin though. Fogg. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. Damn. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy. Really must suck life. having that much money, huh? Raleigh, who quickly Damn. became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. I feel like this is just Elon Musk. <laughs> Am I? The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh triangle. Like, like, you know... Bored of luxurious lifestyle, buys Twitter for forty-four billion dollars. 
Isn't Raleigh literally just Elon Musk? You know, machinist, Tesla. I don't know. If anyone's getting this vibe. Ooh. I like the vibe of this area. So, clue bottles, I gotta get them if I wanna get 100% in this game. And I'm 100%ing every Sly Cooper game. So this will be fun. Which, granted, in this game, it's not bad to 100% it. In Sly 2 and 3, it's kinda hard. So, uh... It, yeah. That will very much extend your playtime. Look! This is just an experience. Regardless of this being four hours or three hours or however many hours, this is an experience. I get to hang out with you guys. This is what I want to do. Hold on, Sly. See those you know? One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, uh, yes. Lighthouse spotlights combust upon exposure. <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Okay, so apparently these will cause me to combust. I didn't know I was a vampire, but okay. Raccoon vampire, though. Hello? Hey, yo, that sounds... No, slide couldn't be any hotter. I'm just saying. Oh! <laughs> okay, this fucker might be hard to, like, dodge, but I'll, I'll make it work. Hold on. I mean, still... Raccoon? Vampire? Sly couldn't be any more appealing, I'm just saying. Sly is a vampire? You know, lore-wise, that probably works. Amphibio positioning system. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You have something to detect where frogs are? I want it. Also, why is it a whale? Oh. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. You know, that's another question that was never answered. One, why does he want this? Why does he want it to rain all the time? Just move to Seattle, forehead. Uh, or two, um... Why did they take the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus? What purpose did they have if they already had an absurd amount of money? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. It's a cutesy game. I'd love to play this again. Even outside of stream, like, I just, I vibe with this a lot. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Huh? This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Drake Cooper? Also, why are random pages out in the middle of these safes in the middle of the fucking Bermuda Triangle? Also, that's a weird thing. Why is Raleigh in the Bermuda Triangle? Also, that was kind of cool. So that's a dive move that you can do, like a dash attack. Also, who made the safes? Who placed a safe on the middle of here? Yeah, I know, that ain't very safe. Ha 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 ha. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police... That does not look secure. It's a floating metal whale. <laughs> what an idea, but your plan is flawed. Actually, that's what Why? planes are. And they're pretty safe. To, get near him, to access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high-voltage power tube. To do tube. that without getting electrocuted, you'd tube. have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? I love Sly. I love All both of their energy. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Yeah, Snowy, here's the thing. You're real. You're the realist here. I'm looking at that giant metal blimp, and they're like, oh, it's secure. You're like, oh, it's wobbling, so it's not secure. I'm having a heart attack as an engineer. I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, oh. Ah, uh, it hurts my brain to think about, <laughs> you know? I, I know I'm also, like, ranting about something that defies the laws of physics in an anthropomorphic animal video game. <laughs> but let me have my moment, okay? Wow, you found a lucky charm. Lucky charms? But aren't those for kids? Oh, wait, that's tricks. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but yeah, first mission, let's go. Don't I have to do a time trial in this too? How does that work? Better close those furnace 
doors. Oh my god. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Also, how is, you know, everything not combusting into uh, flames with the wooden floors and, you know, the giant spewing furnace? That's an OSHA violation. You don't leave furnaces with spewing fire open. Unless you're a supervillain. Also, that's got me wondering, what are half these guys doing? Like, you know how they're supposed to be working on this boiler area? What is he achieving over there? Giant wooden hammer. You go, man. You got this. You know, they're trying their best. You are right. They're just trying their best. Too many things. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. It's faster if you roll. Oh my god. It's faster if you roll. Brandon Rogers. Let's do it. I want to see this roll. Okay, so triangle to roll. Yo, you want to see some real speed? <laughs> This is adorable. Oh my god. Oh well. Well, we did it. Now we just gotta go back and do the time trial, I think. But that should be pretty easy. This is very close. I gotta make it to the exit? There is no way. <laughs> There's no way you can make this. So the other trials are apparently easier? Well, I did lose some time with that one fuck up. So I think this is doable. I think I can do this. Oh, perfect. I think we're good. We got like 20 seconds now. Oh yeah, we're fine. This is very fucking close. <laughs> I'm sorry, my inflated butt is in the way. Ooh. Jesus Christ, that is close. You have two seconds left. What is that shit? This game is crazy. This is the first time trial in a kid's game. Hey, here we go. We beat the first mission. Time trial. Look at that. Look at that. Two fucking seconds left. <laughs> It was like maybe this is like speed run, like professional speed run category shit. <laughs> the first time trial really do be prepping for a speed run career, I do say. Either way, next one. Just have to get the bottles and the key, and we're good. Oh. There we go, that's better. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Worth millions just hanging around. Hmm. 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 Oh my. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares for days. Oh my god. Okay. I need to stop looking at this art. This must be his NFT collection. <laughs> The Froga Lisa. I hate it. All oh, the pictures of the Froga Lisa. I did not need that. I could have lived my entire life without knowing about that. Oh! Oh, this might be rough. Actually, wait. Oh no, this is easy. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Okay. Maybe not as easy. <laughs> I love Bentley's voice because it sounds like a cross between a stereotypical nerd and a surfer dude. I Honestly, yes. He's kind of got shaggy vibes to an extent. Just not stoner, you know? So shaggy, but no stone. Shaggy, but no weed. <laughs> no Scooby snacks. <laughs> I love Sly. All right, so we got that one. Oh, I forgot. We got to do the time trial. All right. So let's go. One minute? Oh, hell nah. I'm already fucking this up. Strats. What is this shit, man? One minute? How do I get up there? 
dude. You physically cannot beat this in a minute. Two hours later. I'll do it one more time. If not, I'm giving the fuck up on these director commentaries. God. Mm. Whoa. Oh my god! Sign him up for the fucking whatever soccer team you got! He just fucking saved that ball! That lock-on! You saw that! He turned a solid 90 plus degrees to get me! <laughs> yeah, I don't- I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if the time trials are worth it. And they're so fucking close, they are not easy. I'll get all bottles, because that is technically to getting all pages in the Thievius Raccoonus. Because if you beat- if you complete the book, you technically have beaten the game. So... I don't know, I'm no speedrunner, so I might pass on it. My fucking mouth hurts from laughing so much. Is that normal? It means that I don't laugh or smile as much. I think that's a bad thing. Oh my god, they really are cheeky with these fucking bottles. Alright, more than halfway through with this game. Or level, sorry. Area. Chapter. Also, I don't think you can do the time trials until you get all... ...bottles. In the level. Cause see, the time trial didn't spawn. Oh? No, good on you, Bentley. You deserve to give yourself some credit for being smart with these codes. No code can stand before you. I believe in you. That's not even sarcastic. I just believe in Bentley. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used oh? this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Wow, imagine if you could actually do that. <laughs> okay, so what does it do? That's what I'm curious about. Okay. <laughs> it just slows down the game. It is, it is literally just fucking Matrix styling. The, the ability. You move the same pace as everyone else in the world. <laughs> I mean, it does look cool. I, I'll give it that. A completely useless ability that looks cool. Nice light. You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Thank you, Bentley. I'm sure I figured that out by now. God damn it, he's still got fucking Frog Elisa. Why do they keep getting worse and worse? Get pranked, bro. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this game. We have made no progress because I'm just having way too much fun. These are only going to get harder and harder, too. That's the downside to this. Those rats got pegged. Holy I'm shit! Booby trapped this entire place. I'm going to enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master Oh thief. my god! A master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. It's kind of fucked up. Look at the rats. They just move on and then they just blow up. That's kind of fucked up. It's kind of morbid. At least I'm safe. I like how he tiptoes in the barrel too. It's just kind of cute. I mean, Sly's just adorable in general. All right, let's use the dive technique. Oh my god. That is brutal. Mm. Oh, you lucky sly. Am this I? This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's Karen? Technique. All she had now to do was complain to the manager and she got magically what she wanted. We have a Karen, folks. We have a Karen. <laughs> Karen Cooper. Things just magically were her way, or at least it was presumed. Oh well, let's do the boss. I think we got all the bottles. Let's shoot ourselves out of a cannon. You know, if we don't do that at any point in our lifetime, then I guess we're not living. Whee! Ah yes, just what we want to do. Shoot ourselves into the flying whale. Ooh, this music. How delightful. We have a guest. The only thing is. Unexpected guests. <laughs> Listen, Rob, Same. Wipe up my family and steal what's Same. mine. You better expect company. Oh, oh damn, that was coy, Sly. Sorry. How silly of me 
enough to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you. Oh, yeah, he does this. this you are. Bring it on. <laughs> This really is Elon on Twitter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Blast it all. You beaten me. Well, that's a first. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. Utah? Is he a Mormon? The city is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. Oh. Round two of the devious raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestors. Ooh, Ryuichi. He's my favorite ancestor. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. There she is! Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Hot chick with gun, bus, amphibious yuck. How is this game E for everyone? Boats found their way back into the ocean and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle. How is this a kid's game? My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather. Oh! And then headed back home, excited for our next heist. You know, I'll start at the first. Wait. Oh! Murray's the next level. I love Murray. Look at him go! What a sweetheart. I love him. I love him. He's just vibing. Also, with those, like, early 2000s headphones, too. Wireless headphones? Yep, that's how it was. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Murray's great. Murray, no! You can't do that! Oh, my God! Murray, no! No, no, no. We're not watching him do that again. I'm not watching him do that again. That is all. You can't just do that, Murray. I mean, you might be grooving, but you gotta be careful. Anyways, Mesa City, Utah. Mormons. I think I'm correct with that, right? Mormons are like in Utah. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. What's in Utah? Why is, you know, mugshot in Utah? I I couldn't tell you. Yeah. We're all set to go to Mesa City. Thank you, Bentley. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the Salt Lake City. Shot. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> definitely made up for in bronze. I love Turns him. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. <laughs> the dog father. He spotted his first gangster, <laughs> and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled wow. on his dreams of great power and respect. <laughs> With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street brawling, tough as nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I mean, minus firing a machine gun like that in a small quarters, but so he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Wait. <laughs> So minus the fiendish five thing, like, how is Mugshot a bad person? You know, call me devil's advocate here, but like, also this music? Again, look, I, I know I'm appreciating the music too much, but like, call me devil's advocate here, but like, how is he bad minus, you know, 
killing. Yeah. Mafia? Oh, well, that's what it was. Oh, right, right. Mafia. Mob boss? I mean... Depending on the mob boss. You know, we could argue different things. If you've seen... If you've seen JoJo's Part 5... You, you, you might have a different opinion. I don't know, but besides that, you know, his desire to, like, be respected is reasonable and okay. So, like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too nice here, but I don't see anything wrong with Mugshot, at least from the story that was just told. Mine is the mob boss thing. Something's happened. Where is everyone? And besides breaking into my house as a kid, killing my parents, and stealing my book. That is that is correct, Meeps. Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and Ooh. read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leap lively <laughs> and presses the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ryuichi. Does he have a big balloon of him up there? Oh my god! He's got a big balloon of himself. Does that mean he's into inflatables? Does that mean he's squeaky? Oh god, my ears. The boss! Oh. I got a reliable tip that a cop might be stupid around the operation. So from now on, greet any visitors you see with a hail of land. Oh. Well, I mean, okay. Okay. I like him, but I like the way he introduces himself as the boss. I think that's the most important part about what he just said. I stopped paying attention after the boss. And then I got back in and heard Capiche. I love him. I think Mugshot might be my favorite villain in this franchise. Minus Clockwork, but Clockwork is just creepy and cool and, you know. But other than the fact that, you know, his lore makes no sense to me, he's still kind of, you know, neat. Oh! This one. This will be neat. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. Is that a nail gun? <coughs> That's a nail gun. Holy shit. Murray! Oh my god, I love him. Look at look at him. He's so precious. Look at he's just vibing. See, that's the thing. They remembered to bring in Jiggle fix Physics for Murray, but why couldn't they do it? Oh, my God. Anyway, so what we got to do is got to defend Murray on his way up here. And yes, I use my left stick to aim. It hurts. And it's reversed. It's like plane controls. It's straightforward, though. I dig it. I love him. I know I can shoot him. I don't want to shoot him. I gotta protect the boy. He's precious. Look at his little scarf he has too. I love him. I I love Murray. He might be my favorite himbo in any sort of game franchise. Sorry, not sorry, Dingo Dial. We did it. It has nothing to do with him being like a himbo with like the big tummy. He's just precious. And he needs to be protected and loved. Because once that happens, he will be the superior being in slide two and three. Excuse me? No. Only I win. Look, I don't need to be sneaky if everything's dead. You know this. That just kind of goes with stealth games. Who is stealth is optional. Also, I love how the floor is filled with water and electrified. What a shocking situation. 
Oh, so I can speed things up instead of slow things down. You know what that is? It's another word for playing Fortnite. Oh my god, this is just speed hacks. <laughs> this is just speed. <laughs> well, I drove to this hot dog stand. What is that hot dog stand? What is that face? Who is that? Which one of the developers is that? All right, let me see if I can do the dive. Whoop! Well. Didn't work. It has the area of effect of about a knife stab. Rainmaker and Blockade Entertainment. Huh. Will it? It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Or you could just wear a life jacket. See, that's the sign. Sly should be staying life jacket. Someone make it happen, please. If not for the canonical lore, but for me. <laughs> do it for Beta. Do, 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 do it for the Tatum. <laughs> I never finished Sly 4 either. When I ended up getting Sly Thieves in Time, I got to, I think, Bob was the ancestor I got to. And uh, my PlayStation 3, which was the fat PlayStation 3, overheated and died. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. 140? Dial in 468. How much is yours? Jesus, Bentley. Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. Oh. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Why would you make a fake version of yourself? Why not just make a random anonymous fake thief? Why would you make a decoy of yourself? Oh, it's a silhouette. Okay. I was gonna say, like, why would you create, like... I mean, even still, the silhouette is still a bit giving away. Why would you give away more of yourself? I, I don't know. Don't you, like, not want people to know who you are as a thief? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's quite the uh, entrance mugshot. Good on ya. All right. Let's go. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. All right, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked her block. I love him. I love Mugshot. Wow, you're a Cooper. Singles, Rakamagukas had a lot of nice pictures. But he does have tiny legs. Boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock. I, I mean, <laughs> I forgot he does this. <laughs> I mean, he has a point though. Let's be honest. Uh oh. Oh my God. Yeah, he just kind of charges you. It's kind of terrifying. But like, let's be real. He has a point. He was just kind of minding his own business. He could have changed his ways, but we kind of broke into his territory, you know? Also, this boss fight is simple. Just light up the crystals. My beautiful gun is destroyed. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. <laughs> always have a spare gun. Always. Chat. Always. Always. Spare guns are necessities. Okay, I gotta, like, loop them around. This is, like kind of fucking hard. Yeah, the way he works is like he'll fire at you when he has line of sights on you.
Oh, I missed that. Oh, well. I can do this. See? He's got to get his spare guns upstairs, upstairs. <laughs> See, this is why you don't skip leg day. Yeah, this boss fight is easy. I remember this. And he also hits back the mirrors if you, you know, hit him. Delota is not being very interactive with his comments. Not trying to be mean. I mean, I'm playing a video game, but also you literally said a game that I enjoy is mediocre while comparing oranges to broccoli. I don't know what you expect from me. I don't know what you expect with the weird questions you're asking me, but okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean either. I'm just... I'm just saying it the way it is. When you ask weird questions, I don't really want to answer them. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me. Why do you have so many mirrors? Right. Oh, is you ego right? Picture book. You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby, and then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gun. I love how he talks. Tennessee Kid Cooper. Tennessee is also really cool. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Isn't there also like some getting sort of, of town, actual outlaw challenging in the old in. wild west? With his name Kid in us. the name, Inspector I can't Fox remember. Went for the next also, read the headline. And drag that canine steroid case off to Hot jail. stuff with a badge. Collars canine criminal. The end of <laughs> gambling empire. Mesa City citizen. <laughs> While me and the boys, I well, love it. We enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, oh. ready for our next mission. Oh man, I love it. Oh, man, Carmelita. But still, I think I'm gonna miss Mugshot. He's got a great voice. I know it's like, haha, funny accent voice thing, but, like, I liked it. I like him. And he has a solid point, like, we're breaking into his place. No, maybe he doesn't mean well, but I don't know. Maybe just wishful thinking on my end, okay? But anyways, time to go to Haiti and uh, see what Ms. Ruby is up to. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Whoa. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the She must jungle. not be a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. Obscurity? That is the one fear that most content creators have. Vicious voodoo. Isn't... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Isn't voodoo misrepresented in media? Also, I want that sly plushie. Where's that sly plushie? I want one. Hold on, are we just gonna gl gloss over the fact that there's a Sly plushie? I know it's supposed to be the voodoo doll thing out there, but like... I want a Sly plushie! Why can't I have a Sly plushie? I know I already got a Fox plushie. I want a... I want a Sly plushie, what the hell? Oh well. Also, another thing. Isn't, like, voodoo misrepresented in media as, like, a bad thing? When in reality, it's genuinely a culturally, like... A very much cultural thing. Either way, let's play the game. I don't know. I, I kind of want some backstory on. I don't know. Also, the, Jesus Christ. Well, the one thing they did get right about, like, southern regions is the size of those mosquitoes. Like, those fuckers are massive and, and would probably kill you. Yeah, those those giant mosquitoes actually exist. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. <laughs> Paranormal activity, but that's not the problem. 
This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Ben. You're a germaphobe. I don't blame him. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines around here are perfect. Oh. All you gotta do is jump and hit the surface. That's how I'm able to do it now. I didn't realize that in this game. I remember before, you could only, like, climb underneath these, uh, these little branches or any pipes. Horizontal pipes. You could only, like, climb on them or hold on to them underneath. Now you can walk on them. That's neat. I thought it was only the rail slide you learned from uh, from Tennessee. Oh well, this is really cool though. I really did like this level back as a kid. Like the aesthetic was cool, minus these spiders that fucking look. I'm no arachnophobe, but some of these sca spiders scare the fuck out of me, and I don't blame you for being scared of spiders because some of these fuckers look like they could kill you. Like that? Yeah. I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying this playthrough too. Like I'm having an absolute blast with this. I'm just glad that we can all enjoy it together, you know? A together moment. Anyways, I think I remember this part. This was terrifying for me as a kid. Yeah, that fucker right there? Most terrifying mob in Sly Cooper games ever. I'm sorry, but this thing is fucking terrifying. Yeah. It also takes three hits to take down. Tree monster, swamp thing, I don't know. It looks like something from one of those, like, uh, very low-budget sci-fi movies. You know the sci-fi channel? Kind of like one of those films. Wait, what? I got hurt by that? You just step on those spikes? Wow, okay. I can't even complain. At least they made it dangerous. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Excuse me? I have several questions. Um, why was that last bit added in? Game developers, I'm on to you. <laughs> Ayo, it'll have a nice tingling sensation. I don't know if that's it, Chief. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed either. <laughs> Hitachi Wand, where are you at? <laughs> well, let's see. What is this? Oh my god. I literally am becoming more and more like Sonic. You know, I know Sly is trying to compete as, like, mascot for Sony, but, like, fuck, might as well copy what other mascots are available for Sega. I think we all know about that tingling sensation. I think we all know, unfortunately. Wake up, you lazy bags of swamp ass! <laughs> Did she just call me swamp ass? <laughs> I love her voice. I love her VA. This VA is awesome. I think any any voice actor is good in my book if their introduction is calling me a swamp ass. Okay. <laughs> in a, in apparently a kids game, I guess. I don't know if this is a kids game anymore. Anyways, whoa! What the fuck was? Th was that a cat ghost? Was was that a cat ghost that just attacked me? This looks more like Louisiana. I've never been to Louisiana or heard about it in any statement other than just now. Oh my god, there are cat ghosts. Oh my god, those things are terrifying. These fuckers give Luigi's mansion a run for its money. Jesus. Now that was very interesting. Are you sure? When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. Or, it's just haunted. I don't think you can generate ghosts, Bentley, can you? Wait, can you? Can you? I don't think you can generate ghosts. <laughs> I'm good at this. Hey! 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 Oh, okay. Well. The fuck just happened? Hello? All right, this part is rough. Oh my god. Well, we're going to take multiple tries for this. Oh my god. Oh, I hate snakes. Well. Oh my. 
Jesus! Uh, that's a giant, uh, boa snake? It it's just a huge snake. It's terrifying. Um, there are also bottles in this little chase sequence, so it's gonna take me a few tries. Objective achieved. Survive. Jesus, that thing is terrifying. That's fucking massive! Kinda chonky snake jump scare? Yeah, I'd say so. At least we survived! That's all that was needed. Excuse me? Is this one of those moments where it's like, tried to bake it, had a mental breakdown, bon appetit? Just like, <laughs> is this like the Great British Baking Show? <laughs> Personal demons just to get the code? Oh, I'm sorry, Bentley, but I appreciate the help. <laughs> oh. Cool. The only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. <laughs> Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Ah, uh, oh, yes. All. Oh. <laughs> my God. Ah, uh, yes. I love it when my boat is equipped with a flamethrower. Actually, th that, that does sound like a southern thing to have. Not exactly Haiti, but like, like Florida, you know? Florida definitely seems like the place to have, you know, a flamethrower boat thing. Oh, I fucked up. Hey. Hey, 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 get, get, get. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're good. Okay, I just gotta find the last ones, and we're set. Don't fuck it up, Beta. Oh, fuck. Wait, which ones aren't lit? I was right there! Oh my god! Bruh! This is why I should have done it in order. Just do five at a time and that's it. From right to left. Again, this is why we can't have nice things. That my fucking Beta fish just won't behave. Oh, now we're off to a good start. You, 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 you. We're doing left to right now. Okay, maybe we're not. I hate how I have to literally focus on this. This is, like, technically a kid's game. There we go. Hell yeah. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that <laughs> Egg beater? Yo, are we making the world's biggest omelet? Let's get fucking Guinness in here. <laughs> voodoo egg beater. Oh my god. Part of me wants that to be the raid message, but I feel like that'll be taken out of context, and that will not be good. But hey, you know, this game is kind of whack, and I like it. This game does keep getting better. Same with the second and third one. They just keep getting better and better, even though this one is arguably the best. What's with the fucking 40 bottles? Body parts. You know, I, I I think the health department is like the least of the worries around here, Bentley, but I appreciate the humor. Why is there a flaming turtle skull in the back? Does anyone else see that? Oh! Oh my god. That thing's fucking terrifying! No. Oh my god. Hi. What'd you just say? Can I make it? Oh, I gotta go back up again. I don't know. Why zombie servitude? Is that how that works? I don't... Pfft. I'm reading too much into this game. Also, that's the other thing. As much as you might think Ms. Ruby's, like, the voice acting might be over the top, that's one of the things that I saw about this game for reviews, that, like, her voice acting was way overdone. But, like, this is still fun. She is still a fun character. Oh, 
Oh my god. You and Soup Bentley. Let me just get you a fucking thing of Campbell's, okay? Maybe that'll calm your nerves. Hey, we did it. And the raid. My Thank you for the raid, Nafari. Coupez! <laughs> Wait, what? This move, you can slow down time whenever you want. Not just while jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Even more useless. Not just while I'm jumping, but I can play this slower whenever I want. <laughs> How is this useful? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, thank you, whoever the Cooper is that gave me this. I appreciate that. <laughs> also, that was pretty cool. That little slide. <laughs> Oh my god. And that's the thing about it, like, in slow motion, like, yeah, it would look cool if this was in, like, a good FPS, but it just looks choppy. It looks, it looks like it's having trouble trying to render the game. <laughs> good old slow motion. Oh man, okay, so, next area. Oh, this one's easy. Oh, I don't think there are any more keys that I need to get. We're not keys. Fuck bottles. Yeah, all this is just like minigame stuff. Seems to be with some sort of high this is literally just House of the Dead. <laughs> but on a uh, on a jet ski or a boat. On a boat, on a boat. Yeah, this is literally just House of the Dead on a boat on a boat. At least this part's kinda of fun. It's a nice little peaceful break from jumping around and collecting bottles and keys. According to my paranormal scanner, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. That it's just got to be the source of power for those headstone generators. That is not how that works, but thank you, Bentley. You know, that's the that's the thing as well. He makes things sound smart, even if it makes no sense. So, like, you know what? I believe him. He could probably do a presentation on this, make it all up. And it actually, I, I believe him. He sounds like a believable guy. He's a man of science. Oh, there we go. Alright, so last minigame. Uh, this one's a pain in the ass. This one is unfathomably hard, and if you thought the Piranha one is hard, this might take a few tries. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. And I'm a real gamer here. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. Excuse me? No I didn't need to know that. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. <laughs> oh my god. What does a ghost need with gumbo? If I'm dead, I don't care about gumbo. Also, fuck this bit. Yeah, so you gotta hit these chickens in time. And eventually, uh, these chickens with bombs tied to them actually uh, end up spawning in. And you gotta, like, move them into each other. Uh, not like what I'm doing right here, but, you know. Yeah, it gets it gets hard. I'm actually making good time. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, I'm actually killing it. Oh, okay. So this is really hard because you got to train the the, the 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 chicken with the bombs around each other. First fucking try. Okay, never mind this being hard. <laughs> Never mind this being hard. You got your gumbo, uh, ghost thing. Thanks. <laughs> Either way, off to the final area for episode three, the rhythm game. To meet Miss Ruby, Ms. Ruby. Mm, I could feel that Cooper vibe. 
I become an most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. I love her vibe. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. Look at her. She's just vibing. She's vibing on her tail. That's cool. I didn't even realize that. Also, this part is kind of fucking... Oh, wait. Oh, we're in the jaw of the big skull head. That's actually really cool. They were consistent with the design of this area. Minus the fact that it's kind of fucking weird because the ceiling's moving downward. Look at her. I love her. She's cool. I think this is one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Just because of the rhythm. But I don't think the rhythm portion was fixed in the collection. Chumley scorch you over here. Alright. Chumley? What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. That's not her tail? Are you sure it's not her tail? Looks like her tail. Alligators have big tails. Actually, that's another question. Is Ms. Ruby an alligator or a crocodile? Still can't remember the difference. I always keep forgetting. A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. All right. Uh-oh. Oh no. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no, it's off beat. God damn it. I gotta do it based off of fucking my own beat. This is awful. I. This is fucking with me more than you know. This is like trying to play anything by Dream Theater. I press circle. I promise you I'm better at rhythm. Okay. Okay, this actually hurts to listen to. But we have to do it. This is fucking weird. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. It's slightly offbeat. Oh, well. Bum, 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 bum. I know I'm doing different tones with this, but yeah. Bum, bum, bum. This is so much better than listening to whatever it is in the game. Look at me go! This is actually working! <laughs> oh wait, it slows down now! Oh, this is awful. Oh my god, I'm trying to do this based on memory now. They slow it down, this is awful. Oh, there we go, we got it. Alright, wait for her to slam, and there we go. This <laughs> is just Gator Hero. <laughs> Instead of Guitar Hero, it's Gator Hero. Oh god, this part. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god. This is really stressful because if I fuck up, I start from the beginning. We got it. Okay, we're good. Perfect. You certainly got we did it. Rhythm, as soon as we turn off the music, if it works. The Imagine that. You gotta not play the game the way it's supposed to to actually win it. 
Gotta love how old games like this work. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you. Oh my god, that was actually painful. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight and Common. Allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs. Slight and Common? Right on schedule. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Latin hottie bus big bad voodoo mama. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine. Working on our towns. Oh, Murray. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> this game, man. <laughs> I will never not love those newspaper headlines just for the description of Carmelita. How is this rated E for everyone? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, next area Panda King. Panda King. Also, uh, also known as Dad Material for some of you. Yeah, Panda King might be, uh, dad material for a lot of you, or himbo material. Not really himbo, because he's an explosives genius. Also, we gotta see Murray just... <gasps> oh! He's just playing with the paddle ball! I love him. So you guys might be living for, like, the gameplay of this. I'm living for the next time I get to see Murray just vibing. Look at him go. I love him with my heart and soul. He needs to be protected at all costs. All right. Let's go to China. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, Oh. He couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Oh. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art. Oh. Him. The fetish five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared. Whoa. He's, rumored He's got flaming fists. Firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. You know, like... I don't blame the Panda King, though. Like, he's kind of mad at capitalism because, you know, that with hierarchies and looking down on people that are less fortunate than you. Like, that's what I just got from that. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I read. I, I don't blame the Panda King. I mean, minus the homicidal, you know, pyromania. Y you know, that's, that's, that's the only tidbit that's a bit eh with me. But other than that... I, I kind of get his justified anger towards the nobleman. Just don't take it out on others. What the fuck? Hello? Monkeyus Spherium. <laughs> and the other one's name is Andre Gorillas Catapultus. Furious thieving raccoons. <laughs> oh! It's Monkey Ball! Oh! <laughs> I get it. Wait, why are you aim- Hello? No, don't you aim that towards me. There we go. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! <laughs> I mean, it was a show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Bentley. <laughs> oh, I know it's fucked up, but just the way he said that was so good. Oh, hey, a fireworks show. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> I, this game is an underrated gem. I'm saying it. It's an underrated gem. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there, but it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. Now, see, I didn't recognize what the problem was with that one, Bentley. 
this is awful. This is the worst day ever. I can teabag now! I just realized! Oh my god, this really is the best game ever. <laughs> and I make a little noise with it too. <laughs> this game is amazing. I'm discovering so much you can do every single day. <laughs> Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, this game was never meant for the hands of an actual furry. Or me. Why not both, honestly? <laughs> I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five, seven, eight. Okay. Slight in common approves. Does he? This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, what? developed a technique huh? to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Okay, now that makes up for the last ability, which is just slow motion. This is insane. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this is just the slowest fucking thing ever. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's still neat. I'll be honest. That's pretty cool. Ooh, right, up here. Nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys. So do I. I have a lot of firepower. Giggity. <laughs> Attention, valued employee. Sadly, Gal Village can yet not to pay for Avalanche Protection Service. And so See, look! Oh. Well, I was gonna say, first off, Panda King, respectable boss, valued employee. I mean, granted, that's the spiel that any, you know, retail job will tell their employee that's making, that they're only paying $11 an hour. But at the same time, you know, he's like, I buried a village because they didn't play, pay for the protection plan. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about Panda King. He'll have his own, like, redemption arc soon, though. Anyways, more protecting Murray. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the king. Look at him. The blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. I love Murray. He's wonderful. Time to move, Sly. You got this, Murray. I'll protect you. If not, I'm a failure. Oh. Monkeys with nunchucks. Oh, no. That is really scary. Oh, no. Panda King's bad but respectful. You know what? I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Bad but respectful. I mean, actually, no. I don't know if I can get behind that. That. Ah. Hey, gate detection's weird in this. I wish I could zoom out. Murray's fucking schmoovin'. What a lad. I also don't know what's a surface and what isn't, too. Oh my god, Murray, you could have moved a bit further away, my dude. Also, I don't like how, like... I also don't like how the up and down controls are inverted, but the left and right aren't. It's like I'm flying a fucking plane. <laughs> I don't need that when I'm trying to shoot something. Oh my god. Look, Murray's got a lucky charm. He's fine. You got this, Murray. 
Ooh, look at me go! Ooh! I'm really speedrunning this! How many of them are there? So much for valued employee. Oh well. This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Ooh, I like it. Not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Well, you could have told me that earlier when I tried doing that in front of some guards. Jeez, thanks, Bentley. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. Excuse me? From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Oh. So instead of it being water, it's just empty pits. I thought we could just jump forever. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I thought that's what they were selling. Now I want my money back. Fly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production I like plan. that word, pagoda. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Is he? Oh. Oh, we can hit the gong. That's cool. I've always wanted to hit a gong in real life. You know, like one of these big ones and just make the gong sound with it. Like gong, bong, bong. Like I've always wanted to make the sound of it while it's actually making the sound. So it's just kind of counterintuitive. <laughs> you know, that's just me. Let me live my dream, okay? Press the circle to enter the vault. Press the circle! Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Chaos theory? Like, Input nine, three, two. you mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> you mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> Look, Bentley is either immersed in Chaos Theory or Obama Theory. Because you know Obama has the power, has the power of those Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. Exactly. I swear Bentley be making stuff up. See, that's what I mean. You know, like, he can be making stuff up, but at least he's sounding like he's making sense. That's the perks of being a smart dude. You don't have to understand everything that is happening or everything that you're saying. You just have to make it sound sense enough that others understand it or believe you. That's just it. Unless other people's lives are at stake for what you're saying, then that's, uh, that's... That's a different story. You should probably try and get that right. <laughs> Either way, next area. Let's go. Beautiful. Freeze, raccoon. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Oh Shut my god. But I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too oh. to see what's going on around here. Sly, you were so coy. Escape justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief. Especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Well, if that isn't accurate <laughs> to this day and age. <laughs> Yikes. Anyways, let's make sure not to miss any of these. Look, I know it's cheesy. But Sly's good. It's really coy. At least for 2002. Like, come on. Give Sly a break. It's 2002, not 2022. Not two decades later. Oh, wait. Downtime. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. Wait, what? I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. Bird dialect? It's a fucking code combination. I could sit here and guess all day. You won't even let me do it? Wow. I gotta backtrack here after? I guess they didn't expect you to 100% this back to back, so. Yeah, okay. At least we have the clue bottles so we can speed run through this after. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least I don't think she has to reload. Oh, 
Oh, she's just literally dead. What, it's, either Carmelita is invincible, or what? She literally died. Like, there's nothing down there. It's just snow and fog. Like, how is she, bruh? Okay. I can see Sly has some taste. He's got a nice type. Indestructible, thick thighs, tall, Dom. <laughs> Uh, this is just easy. You just shoot. Oh, what was that, Bentley? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, cut, I cut you off there. I went a bit too fast. Beautiful. <laughs> well, valued employee, eh? You know, something tells me that the Panda King isn't really valuing his employees. I don't know. Maybe that's my pessimism from, you know, my experience in real... Well, I finally got hit by one of them. Uh, in a retail job or something like this. Something tells me he just doesn't care. I could be wrong. Oh my god, did you see that? The fucking monkeys were T-posing above. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can I get him to, like, despawn? Hold on. Did you see that? They were just T-posing up top. They didn't even spawn in. That was crazy. Look, the monkeys are asserting dominance, even if they're going into a big and round ball. Well, this was, if anything, easier than the last one. Oh. Oh, this one's just a race. Okay. Oh, hey, we've got no clue bottles then. That's it. We just got to play the game. I love him. He justified going to get a snow cone. I love him. All right, remember. Steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. I love Murray. He is great. Oh, right, this race. These are kind of rough, too. Also, the strat is to stay out of the icy patches, because that's how you can lose traction and speed. It's kind of like off-roading, you know, on a race. Not exactly a great idea. Why do the vehicle physics look so good? You're kidding, right? <laughs> these, these vehicle physics are awful. This is like worse than GTA driving. And you know GTA driving ain't great, like by any means. But hey, we did it. Nice driving, Murray. Now, go get Holy shit, we lapped them by far. Let's go on and fight the, the, the big daddy guy, Panda King. Panda King, not Big Daddy King. Big Daddy, Panda King, what's the difference? I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Look at him! Ah! Back the that was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in He's snow? great. You are a thief, just like me. No, if you like him now, him. you'll love him in Sly 3. From a long line of master thieves. While you, you're Silly. just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. I love how the Tum has as much jiggle physics in this game. Actually, Still, it might have... The, the bellies in this game might have more jiggle physics than the booba. <laughs> That's kind of crazy knowing like the headlines and how they're describing Carmelita half the time. Flame foo! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, he can't catch us if we keep running this way, by the way. He's fucking schmoovin' too. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. He got me. Also, his attacks are pretty straightforward. It's just. And he bounces you back with his belly! I just. Favorite new character and favorite new boss in the Sly franchise. I don't care what anyone says. His attacks are pretty basic, though. He's not the most diverse boss, but, like, he's different from most other ones in this game so far. 
If anything, he's the easiest, but he's also like... He's different! Oh. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <laughs> <laughs> what was that dying sound? <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me? <laughs> We're just going. All right, let's go to Russia. <laughs> okay. The Panda King section of Well, gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Otto Van. Oh my God. Dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. Is the Krakara Volcano an actual thing? Can someone fact check that for me? A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed- She survived! Threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his- Hot Latin Spitfire puts Fiery Panda <laughs> on ice. <laughs> Hot Latin Spitfire. My off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed. We headed home to plan our next. And this is in an E for Everyone game. Then again, it is 2002, so I can't I can't blame him. This game, man. Anyways, we're almost done. We got. We just have to beat this next level, and then we go back here and we get the last page of the Thievius Raccoonus, and then we're done. That's it. Anyways, we've done two areas per stream. So, what we'll probably do next time is we'll go on okay, to the Krakow Volcano in Russia. A trip to Clockwork's lair. And they know that it's Clockwork now. I guess that's how they... I don't know how they know the name of Clockwork. This one episode or level, I, I don't know what the right term is for this, I'm assuming it's an episode, is hands down probably one of my favorite in the Sly Cooper franchise. This is probably the best that they have put together some sort of episode. And that's saying something compared to the amount of content that they add in the second, third, and fourth games. The amount of suspense and energy that they set in this. Beautiful. It is quality. And I know I gave it shit for having it take place in a fucking volcano, in like the the, the stereotypical villainous lair, but this is like, it, it works. It works. It's so cool. It's so creepy. And that's the thing. Someone asked me, Bader, were you scared of clockwork as a kid? Bitch, I'm scared of clockwork now and I'm 24 years old. What, what, what's the answer there, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, the clockwork level, yes, this is actually pretty rough in terms of difficulty, but it's very fun and it feels like the stakes are very, very high. Which they are, so either way, okay, let's do it. Partner. We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. <laughs> While looking over what little information I had on the final I'll never not the love it. Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence? Oh. Or is there something I'm missing? Yeah, they knew about clockwork a bit before. They knew a little bit about him because of the police reports. So I guess that makes sense. But they were very much alluding to it. Like with, you know, owl dialect. Of course, yeah, no shit. But like, I don't know. Either way. Or I could just not, and we could just chill here. Also, this part's kind of rough, uh, believe it or not. But uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. You just shoot. The music goes hard. Oh my god. In the fucking last two levels in this episode, they go hard. I know, I know it's spoilers, but you team up with Carmelita at the end of this, and like, that bit is so fucking cool to me. Even as a kid, I was screaming on the inside. Even now I'm screaming. That's creepy. That always gave me nightmares. That death tower. Robo Falcons? Yeah, those things, these things creep me out a little bit. Yeah. 
That death tower always gave me nightmares as a kid. But I'm gonna be honest now, I look at him like, wow, the low poly graphics really do take away from the fear that it imbued in my heart. Hey, look at that, we did it. Also, this is just straightforward. Just Oh, lava slugs, I forgot. Never mind, fire slugs. Fire slugs are terrifying. This is kind of hard. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, fire slugs kind of, kind of terrifying in this. I guess that's why I was never into goo when I got into the furry fandom. It's always terrifying to me. This fucking sneak sneak. This sneak sequence. So unfair. So absolutely unfair. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got a freer. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. It's called a love interest, but Bentley. You should get one. Oh wait. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, now I feel a bit bad. A spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Yeah, this is pretty cool and pretty easy. This, pretty straightforward. It's just more climbing, just not as hard. This little area underneath, pretty fucking unfair if I do say so myself. Pretty unfair if I do say so myself. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just gonna reset this level. I done fucked up. We're just gonna pretend that never happened. We're also gonna pretend that never happened. Trust me, I'm better at this game than you think. Also, this area is so fucking unfair. I figured it out, though. It seems straightforward. Eh. Goodbye. But yeah, as a kid, this was a... Uh, this is a bit of a, a complicated area. Still fun. Anyways, let's keep going. Save Carmelita. Oh no. It's a trap. Oh no. Oh no. What did... wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. Oh no. What happened? Oh no. You sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's wait. brain is turned Wait, 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 wait. That's not how that works. If you turn off the gas, it doesn't... That's not how that... I haven't had to do this in a while. This is not hacking. The left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash your hacker code! Oh, Bentley, I... <laughs> ah, yes, I am hacking! Take that, FBI! <laughs> I am gonna... I, I'm gonna steal away all those files! Uh-oh. Never mind, I fucked up. Take that, FBI! Take that, CIA! I just got all your secret codes! <laughs> hey, hey, I suck at this. Leave me alone! I love just shooting code at things and eventually, you know, it just breaks. You ever want to know how to hack? This is it. Who needs DEF CON? I'm actually going to die. And I died. Oh, wait, never mind. I've got one more. Even though I have no health. Apparently. That is not... That's my only gripe with this. That's not how hacking works. Sly. That's also not what happens when you turn off gas. What? Well, okay. We're on our good side now. We win? 
She still is massive. Look at her fucking model. Her model is so massive compared to me, even still. <laughs> Either way, this next sequence, my favorite in the whole game. Just saying. Her second favorite. Second favorite. I don't get it, I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Mm, Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, you sure about that? Robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's okay, a maybe. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Hey. <laughs> Hey! Also, that fucking aim? Huh, wait. I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you Also, this back. music goes fucking hard? Make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team and all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Oh, okay. Well... Maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Oh, okay, okay. Carmelita gets it. Also, fire slugs, yes. We, we shoot the thing and stop fire slugs. Those fuckers are fast! Oh, oh my god, they are fast! Oh, well, oh, Sly's dead. So much for that cane. So much for the sequels. And yes, I can shock him. Fun fact. Holy shit, these fuckers are fast! I might need a few tries. Thank god I got a shit ton of lives for this one. Wait, can I hit Sly? You're telling me I can't hit Sly this whole goddamn time? I could just spam it right next to him? This game isn't broken. Hey, there we go. Hey! Loki, second favorite segment in this game. This one, favorite level in this game, hands down. It's just nothing but parkouring and nothing but jumping and platforming. This, so fucking good. So good. It is pretty rough, though. You have to be, like, super fast. And let's see if I can do this, like, first try. I think I remember how to do this as a kid. You can just, like, jump over this. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Is my parkouring skills good? Do I know how to hit the circle button? Hit the circle to enter the vault code. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is straightforward. Oh yeah. Might be a bit tight. I know the timing on this is very inconsistent. It's very in inconsistent. Not great. Let me do this though. Oh, this might be really tight. Next guy, shh, 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 you're not a bit tight. Shh, shh, shh. No one needs to be tight when Sly's around, okay? <laughs> Anyways, we did it. Final boss. Very terrifying. Okay, that jetpack is easy to fly. It's easy, you say. Meanwhile, it's inverted flight controls. Which are my least favorite. Sly, behind you. Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. This fucker is terrifying. You always find a way to beat me. Always. So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the Thievius Raccoonus. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal. Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate. 
Yo, oh, he probably has a Twitter. And then again, Twitter can make you live forever if you think about it. Okay. Also, yeah, this is genuinely a terrifying boss. He's just a giant metal owl, realistically. Also, this music? Like, we're just not going to talk about it. Which is great. You can change the, the controls and invert them. Well, don't tell me what to do. I'm just saying this is default controls. It's the full experience if you're playing with default controls. Oh. I did it. Shit posting on Twitter is the key to immortality. Fuck, I get, better get started. <laughs> See, he just said something that could get him cancelled. That's what happens when you get cancelled on Twitter. Your armor starts degrading. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It's like legacy it stuff. Here. I will finish you it's just like DLC, you father. know? Free DLC. There you go. Also, this part is kind of... Eh, if you don't know what you're doing. You just go into the hoops. You go through the cock rings. Very simple strats. Oh. My intellect well, didn't My do it fast enough. Is oh. Okay. Oh! I almost fucked it up. VA could be improved a bit. Eh, I still think his voice is terrifying. He's a giant metal fucking owl. Owls in general are terrifying. As much as they're cute and pretty cool, you know? They're like curious in all honesty, but like, they can be very, very terrifying. Like, this one's made of metal. It's a metal fucking owl. How is that not scary? Either way, this is... Yeah, this isn't that challenging. It ain't that deep. Now's your only chance, Sly! You've got to get to his head and destroy it before his auto... I Excuse me, Bentley? Wait, what the fuck is Clockwork saying? Seven. Is he okay? Whatever. Flowers. I'm just gonna beat this. Stakes are pretty high. I, I can't tell you how much I love this level. Uh oh, I fucked up. Oh wait, if I if I lose here, that's it. Feet together. Wait, not that. That's it. Well, here's the thing. If you lose in this part, you uh, you kind of uh, what's what's the word? Start back from the beginning of this fight, which I really don't want to do. And then you just beat the shit out of his head. And that's it. We win. Well, bye. It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. Well, you kind of just downright killed Clockwork, you know? And reclaim my birthright. Kind of just killed him. Of course, you didn't really there was no way imprison him. He's just dead. The help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took I, a lot of guts for him to get out. I love him. I love him. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And he's gonna have a lot more heart Thank in the next game. Trust me with that Without one. Without his expertise, I'd have never no, found my way. What the off fuck that was that on a computer house. screen? A guy couldn't ask I love these little developer Easter eggs. They're so funny. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Also, this bit. Looks like we're not gonna be. This had anymore. me as a kid. Hold on, you gotta the watch this. Death Ray is out of commission. Watch it, watch it, watch we're it. Back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was gonna slap the handcuffs on me right then and there, but instead she was true to her word and gave me that 10-second head start. Ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Oh, this always had me as a kid. <laughs> I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other. Oh, again. man. It's official. I mean, not really official. That I, I don't think that's a good first date, to be honest. And that's it. We did it. We, we beat Sly 1. Pretty cool. Either way, what a nostalgic trip this game has been. We're not done yet. We got to go and get that last page of the Thievius Raccoonus, and then I'm calling it quits on this game. I'm not doing the time trials. Fuck those. Unless they're adding another 30 seconds to each and every one, I'm not doing each one over and over again. All we need is the last vault, and we've theoretically beaten or completed the Thievius Raccoonus. I, I don't know what's going on there. What a great game. What a great game. So nostalgic, so simple, straight to the point. It's just a fun time all around. Also, cliffhanger. Whoa, he's still alive. <laughs> they had to end it on Murray. See, even the game is self-aware that Murray is the most com this, most important I, character. The isn't fully Excuse me? You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. We're just gonna get the last page, which I think, where was the one with Carmelie? This one. Okay, so we still need to do this one. We needed to beat the game and beat Clockwork in order to come back here and get this last page. So once that's done, we've technically beaten the game. Let's do it. I'm just gonna speed run through it. What? The code had better be two, three, one. No, 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 no. You, we're not glossing over that. Bentley, if blood vessels burst in your head, you shouldn't be here right now. That's internal bleeding, Bentley. Honey, we got to take you to the hospital. Fuck the code. I don't care. I can do this later. God damn, the things they'll do for science. He's just built different, I guess. Anyways, got the trophy. What does this give me? Execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. I just get access to fucking flashbangs? That's kind of fu that's crazy. Why didn't I have access to that now? Wait a minute. Why did somebody the menu? Last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. I've never seen this. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. There you go. I had taken down the fiendish five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. Well, what are you contributing to the book? Oh, man. This is great. This but, is gonna be fun. But here's the thing, what did he add to the book for the next generation of Coopers? I never saw that little cutscene. That was the first time seeing it. We did it. We beat the game. We collected all pages in the Thievius Raccoonus and we became a master thief. I think that's 100% in my book. Either way, we beat the game. Uh, I'm not starting slide two today, but for what it's worth, we did a good job. But either way, that was Sly 1. Uh, thoughts on the game? Pretty heckin' fun. I thought the platforming aged very well. It was very simplistic. The story was pretty okay. The way they wrote in a couple of the jokes and were very coy about it was pretty great. I thought it was enjoyable even as an adult. It's a solid game overall. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend it because it does play well. And that's really about it. It's just a good game that I enjoyed.